Merry Christmas, and welcome to this service of worship. The Christmas story reminds us that we are all dreamers. Like those gathered around the manger, we come to this night each year in awe and wonder. Like Mary, we treasure God's dream in our hearts and commit to keep it alive. Like the shepherds and angels, we celebrate good news of great joy. So settle in next to the glow of your tree, light a candle or two, and in these next moments, expect to meet the Savior of the world. This year we dreamed of world peace. We dreamed of deep breaths and restful sleep. We dreamed of love that lasts and suffering that passes. We dreamed of doors open wide and a cure to disease. We dreamed because to dream is to believe. For to dream is to hope. To dream is to see. So make room in yourself to dream yet again of a world without fear and a God that draws near. For it is almost Christmas. Love is here. May we dream to see and hope to believe. Let us worship holy God. In the beginning, God dreamed of a beautiful world. In Egypt, the Israelites dreamed of freedom. In the wilderness, the people dreamed of safety. In Jerusalem, the people dreamed of a Messiah. And in Bethlehem, the shepherds and the Magi dreamed of a new beginning. Then several years later, Jesus walked the earth and dreams came true. The poor had food, the sick were healed, the forgotten and the isolated were seen, the children were welcomed. Everyone was welcome at the table, and the world has never been the same. So tonight, we are those who dream. Tonight, we dream the same dreams of our ancestors before us. Tonight, we dream of justice and mercy, of love and kindness, of peace and hope. Tonight we dream of a God who draws near out of unfailing love. May this candle be a reminder that there will be a day when all dreams are fulfilled. And until that day, we will be those who dream. Please join me in prayer. Ever-present God, from time to time, we dream daring dreams. We dream of freedom for the imprisoned, food for the hungry, and equality for all. We dream bold, daring dreams until the world tells us that these dreams are impossible. And when that happens, we are tempted to tuck our dreams into our coat pockets and let them collect dust on the shells of our heart. Forgive us for giving up so easily. For on this night, we remember and celebrate a daring dream that you dwelled among us. Give us the courage to dust off old dreams from the shelf with the confidence that you, the impossible, is possible. With you, a light always shines in the darkness. With you, even a teenage couple unwed and a band of shepherds can bring joy to the world. Thanks be to God for a dream like that. Amen.
listen to the word of the Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration, and it was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their hometown to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them at the end. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. But the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all people. For unto you is born this day in the, in, in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known to what had been told to them about the child and all who had heard it were amazed at what shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured up all those things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as had it been told to them, heaven and earth will pass away, but the, the word of the Lord will not pass away. Thanks be to God. On this holy night, we gather around candles. We keep favorite traditions to remind ourselves of the good news that is the foundation of our Christian faith. Christ has come to save the world. What we believe about what God has done in Jesus Christ ripples out to the rest of our lives. And it becomes the basis for our dreams for this world. So listen with new ears and hopeful hearts to the good news that we believe. We believe in hope. We believe that to hope is to dream with our eyes wide open. We believe in peace. We believe that peace is not found by accident. Prepare the way. We believe in joy. We believe that joy is angel choruses and gifts from the Magi, as well as comfort food, big tables, open doors, candlelight and fireside, singing in the kitchen, and being together as the body of Christ. We believe in love. We believe that God loves us so much that God could not stay away. So God showed up as a child. We believe that that love is real and we know that it changes us. Therefore, we believe in the power of dreams and we believe that nightmares, which are all too real here and now, will have no place in God's promised day. Until then, we believe in sharing the light. We believe in showing up and stepping up, in doing the work, in listening for the angel choruses and learning from the youngest among us. We believe, amen. Please bow your heads with me once again. We come to you tonight with dreams tucked into our pockets, admitting that at times it feels risky to dream. At times it feels risky to ask for too much, to believe in that which we cannot see. So instead, we make wishes on stars and search for luck in clover fields. Instead of sinking into you, we try to control the narrative. However, 
Somewhere rumbling deep in our hearts, there is a dream for a better world. Open our eyes to you in our midst. Give us the confidence of Mary to sing into the mystery. Dust your dreams for us off the shells of our hearts until once more we are those who dream. Amen. On this holy night, go in peace. And as you go, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. <laughs>